Hello everybody, hope you've had a great week. My name is Tony and this is Boat McRill. Just go and see the world and just show them What it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby, we're golden So today we are going to start working on an idea I got uh, about building a new jack staff or rather a radar stand but before we do that I want to remind you about pressing the subscription button down here on the right side and if you like the videos give me a thumbs up and of course if you want to share the videos this is my old jack stand or as we in Sweden say just stock it uh, this one is in pretty bad condition of course I could fix it up and keep it but then I have to find something else to put my new radar on that I bought a couple of months ago this one is actually a little bit too short to be used to put a radar under the top light and I also want something to put my antennas on radar, AES and GPS but I actually like the way this is uh, built, the angle and all that. So I did a little, I did a little research and I did a little sketch drawing on how I wanted the new radar stand to look like. Well, I believe that this old jack stand has the correct angle that I want. Uh, and to pick that out, I used an angle iron. And just, uh, yeah, and I figured out that actually the, the, the angle of the, uh, the old jack stand is just about 120 degrees. So I'm going to use 120 degrees as a measurement point for the angle of the new radar mount. Uh, of course, the radar mount is going to have a, as you've seen on the, on the sketch on the, on, that I showed you, it's going to have a platform down here where the radars can stand on and the radar is kind of big. So this old jack stand that is uh, measuring just about 54 centimeters from top to bottom or if you angle it about 60 centimeters. That's a, actually a little bit too small to fit the radar under. I'm going to build it the, the new radar <coughs> stand just somewhere around 90 centimeters long. Uh, the thickness of this old jack stand is about four centimeters, which is right about what I want to have the new radar stand to. I'm actually going to try and reuse the old stainless steel mounting bracket for this. I'm going to use uh, what we in Sweden called 45 times 70 board or piece of wood. I'm going to use epoxy and biaxial weave as an outer layer. And of course, I'm going to drill a channel inside for cables and stuff. I finally found a piece of wood that I want to use. Pretty straight. This one is now 90 centimeters. I cut it down. So the angle that I want on, on this 
uh, I have that I have the angle from this angle iron So hi guys, welcome back. It's uh, another day, gone a couple of days since uh, we left off with this piece. Uh, too much work to do, so yeah, rendering movies and uh, doing some regular work and then back to this before I leave Sweden for United States and te Northeast Texas. Uh, so when this movie comes out, probably not this Saturday, but Saturday after that, uh, I won't be here actually. I will be on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna use a router and I'm gonna get these edges a little bit closer together and round them off. And after that, I'm gonna cut the board in half and the two halves are gonna open them up and I'm gonna use the router on the inside to build a channel through. I set up the router again and this time I have it uh, I'm gonna do a trench on both sides of this it's gonna be two centimeters in from the edges and then just about one centimeter deep so we'll see how it looks like when I get this done First one I did, it broke. The uh, router bit slipped and uh, went a too big of a ditch. So I did actually did a new one. It is, and uh, well, 
of course. It isn't pretty on the inside, but who cares? I can always use uh, thick in the epoxy and fix up the, those things and make sure that the ditch is nice and clean. I'm gonna do that later on. I'm gonna uh, grind down the edges here a little bit and uh, put some thick in the epoxy inside and with the edge rounded. That first part is done. Uh, now that time to figure out how to uh, actually do the, uh, the the top part, as you see here. It's like this. We're gonna have a little wooden shelf up here, and then later on we're gonna have a wooden shelf here. I got a piece of beer chair. I'm gonna cut out a 22 times 14 centimeter piece. Uh, that's gonna be the top part. Actually, gonna be the the top piece, and the last cut for today is gonna be 40 centimeters long, times 33.5 centimeters. Uh, that's gonna be later on be formed to become the shelf for the radar. <laughs> Up here on top, the shelf for antennas and stuff, and then somewhere in the middle here, I'm gonna fix a little area for the top light. So, for today, guys and girls, that's everything I have to show. Next week, uh, I will hopefully, as I said, uh, next time you see a video, uh, it's not going to be on the Saturday, on a Saturday, it's going to probably be a Sunday or Monday, because I'm leaving for the uh, United States in two days, and then I'm going to be away for two weeks. So, see you around, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the videos, and of course, push the subscription button down here on your right side, uh, and also the little bell that shows up afterwards, so that you get the notifications when next video is online. So take care everyone, uh, see you when I'm back from the States and have a good week!